Welcome to another episode of Indie Game Lab Studios. I'm Garth, your host, and today I am joined by Eli of Scattered Nexus. Uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Happy to be here. Uh, so I'm really excited about today's episode. Uh, I've played. I got. To, I got a chance to play this game at uh, Evergreen Tabletop Expo a couple, like a month and a half ago or two months ago, and had a blast. Mm -hmm. I actually um, uh, believe I won. Not that. <laughs> I don't recall that part, <laughs> but yeah, you know. Um, so it's time for a rematch. Uh, I just want to hijack the stream for just a second before we get going, because I, for uh, Primordial Secrets, I have a giveaway that I promised, and I just don't want people to think I'm cheating, so I wanted to do this on stream, and so at least Joe is watching right now so we can make sure uh, everything is above board. So let me pull this over here. Oh, everything went away. Of course it did. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna cut to this shot. Here we go. Uh, so, uh, so just for what's what's happening right here is I have promised to give away a Primordial Secrets T-shirt to one person from my mailing list. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Seventeen. Everyone sees that, right? Let's go. Who is seventeen? Okay, this person. R. Cholte is getting a free t-shirt. So, uh, congratulations to R. Cholte. I will email you with the deets. Everyone can see these beautiful pieces of art. Who did the art on all this? Um, the different indie comic creators. Okay, so these are, so yeah, so uh, tell us about this indie comic sort of theme you've got going on here. Yeah. Yeah, um, yes, uh, yeah, Scatter Nexus is a battle style card game based on indie comics. So um, what it is, uh, uh, is that I'm an indie comic creator myself, and uh, we just don't get a lot of uh, credit. No one, uh, no one wants to uh, invite our IPs into their game. So <laughs> uh, I created a game that welcomes it. Nice. Um, so each one of these stacks is um, 10 cards that are representations of, of a particular indie comic. Um, and yeah, all the art is provided by that comic creator. Wow. And then I design like what they do and, uh, based on the genre, you know, what, uh, what the powers, strengths and weaknesses are. Um, nice. but each one of the stacks, I read their comic and yeah. it's a secret, but I also like their comic. <laughs> you know, I try to say that I'm impartial, but it's yeah. like, once I see one, I'm like, this is awesome. I want this in the game. Nice. Uh, and then I reach out. Awesome. Um, and then we uh, we partner to make 10 cards for them so that you can mix and match when you're making your deck. Beautiful. And I see your name on one of these here. So this, this oh, yes. Alien 101 is, is your comic here? Yes. Nice. Uh, I think I also made Dog oh. of the Dead. Yep, there we go. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so I have to, it's tricky, making sure I balance those to not just be the best, you know, <laughs> comics right. out of everything. Yeah. Uh, are we? Is this is this to randomize our decks? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, there's. Uh, as I said the game still has a couple things I'm working on. One of them is location cards, oh, which are sweet. supposed to give, um, like uh, a particular ability or power to uh, a type of character. So like, um, all students get a benefit when they're in a classroom or oh, whatever it might be. I didn't see these um, uh, at Evergreen Tabletop Expo. Are these new yeah. since then? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah they, they're, they're under development, which okay. is why okay. I, we, could, we, could, we could hide them for now till they're all nice and ready. Student characters have, when played, you may draw a card. Sweet. Yeah. So it's easy. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, yeah, in that comic, Alien 101, which is this, this is what the location is for it, Yeah. Um, they have a lot of student type characters yeah. in there so like they synergize well nice. um but because they're the there's still only so few factions there's only six mm -hmm. so it's really the only deck that has students in it so okay. it doesn't really synergize with i think this might have a student in it okay um but anyway so it just makes it hard to like really get full use out of the locations okay but it's something i want to incorporate as the game grows okay i see nice yeah. Okay, so uh, 
so that's that's I mean the concept is amazing. I love that we're kind of doing Mac like what is what is it called like when Marvel does it or whatever like matchups or mat mashups right, or right. whatever there like Ooh. two two universes collide. So we're having a bunch of universes right. collide here. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited for that. So how um, how should we do that? How do, how do we decide which three we want to play with? Yeah, um, usually uh, players do a draft, okay. um, but uh, as I said, because you said, you know, I know you've played, but you might need a little bit of refresher, you're not, yeah. you're not uh, grinding in this game every day, <laughs> sure. so uh, with that in mind, I usually ask you what your favorite genre is, or what type of player you are, oh, and then nice. I mix you up a deck based on what your answer is. Oh, nice, yeah. Uh, I remember last time my answer was uh, control and value. And you gave me some mm. sweet deck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Control. Uh, uh, each one of these cards on the top has like shows the primary and secondary faction. Oh, yeah. So this one's like blue, orange, which is sci fi, slice of life. Blue is a lot of the control. Okay. So if you're going control, you probably want like this one. Oh, wait, no. This one. Get some heroes, control. And okay. then, hmm, what's a good third one? Let's go with this one, because that's also a little control -y. Okay, nice. And so I think last time, I remember I had Alien 101 and the dog, and hmm. the dog of the dead. So maybe I had a yeah. slightly different Oh, that, that's value. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, this time I focused on control, but okay, yeah, right, that yeah, is yeah. more of a value proposition. Nice. All right. Um, I'm excited. So let's see. Oops. So I'll take... Um, uh, that one, uh, this one, and, uh, this one. Yeah, I'm curious to see how this one works out. Nice. All right, so we've selected our decks. I guess we should, uh, for the folks watching at home, talk about sort of how this game plays out. What's sort of the overview oh, yeah. and how, how are we going to be playing this out? Absolutely, yeah. So for setup, you, we already picked our factions. Mm -hmm. We... Uh, shuffle our decks together uh, to make one deck. We put that on our deck area. Oh, actually, sorry. There is there are three cards in this deck that shouldn't be in here. There's a uh, some player aid cards. Oh, in, in mine as well. Yeah. All right. They look like this. Oh. Okay. They're not nearly as pretty as the other cards. Um. And I can I can search them for you. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, perfect. And uh, yeah, so if you come across a card that's like, oh, that's saying something I don't quite understand, you can find the comic play rate for, uh, for that comic, and it should have all the keywords or you know uh, anything nice. you might not understand on it. Um, so, uh, so we start by drawing a hand of five. So make sure you shuffled up. And in this game, uh, you'll be... The objective of the game is to destroy your enemy's deck. You want to do damage to it until it's gone, and then you win. You want to do it to them before they do it to you. Um, you're going to be doing that by playing cards and attacking, going through um, the phases of the game, which are uh, wake phase, which is where you ready any of your exhausted characters. So if you have any characters that are... Uh, sideways. Let me go to 90 degrees real quick. If you have any characters that are horizontal, they'll become vertical, making them ready to do stuff again. Uh, action phase is where you'll play cards from your hand into your five slots. There isn't any mana system or action points in this game. You just have space. You have just have five spaces to play things. And then um, once you're done playing stuff, you'll go through your attack phase where you'll do a team attack. You'll name a color and you'll attack with any number of characters control of that color. You can tell the color on the uh, uh, characters have an impact at the top left, and then a bunch of color icons below that. So that's just their identity. They are all those colors. So you'll attack with matching characters to try to damage your opponent's deck. They'll probably block you. You'll calculate, see what got hurt, and then you'll end your turn and draw back up to five. Uh, and you'll yeah keep doing that until the um, game's over. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, nice. And let's see. If I block with something... Oh, uh, the positions don't matter, right? So it's not like... Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't oh, yeah. matter. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, there's a front and a back. Oh, well, right. Yeah. Let me just explain everything about characters. So when you play them, they'll come to the front. Okay. Uh, that's just their, where they enter, in the um, uh, full health area. Mm-hmm. If they ever take a damage, they'll move to the back. Okay. And then if they take a damage while in the back, they'll go to your discard pile. Um, but uh, just want to specify, uh, they can still do everything in either zone. Okay. It just shows how hurt they are. So if they're exhausted or whatever, mm-hmm. they can be exhausted back here. They can attack from back here. There isn't a play difference. It's just showing that it's close to leaving play. Got it. And then exhausted yeah. characters cannot block, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. When you attack with your characters, they'll become exhausted, um, and then they can't block. Okay. Um, uh, one other thing, uh, just about, there's two types of cards. White border, black border cards, which are characters, they do... They're pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And then there's white border cards, which are um, events. Um, There's two ways to play them. You can play them into the middle of an empty slot. Just, you know, nothing's here. And you can do what's on the bottom, the event uh, part. Okay. Uh, And you can do that at any time. You can do that on my turn. You can even do it in response to me doing something. I could be like, hey, I'm about to attack you. And you can be like, hey, before that, deal with this. That's totally fine. Okay. Um... Second way to play it, you can play it under a character on your turn. You can't do this on enemy turns. You can play it underneath a character, and then it will give the character that top ability, um, the trait, and it will give it permanently as long as the character's in play. Perfect. Um, so this one is a bad one. It says this character has minus one impact, which makes it weaker. Right. So this is probably an event. This is probably a trait I want to put on your characters, right. but just to demonstrate that's how it works. And also, yeah, you can put a traits on enemy characters there's nice. no it doesn't care who the character belongs to okay um, and then just, I can, one thing i like yeah, about this I, game is i can look across to your uh your three different like cheat sheet cards <laughs> here and see what traits i might have to come across you've got, right you've got a weakened yeah thing. oh two two <laughs> okay two of your things weaken my guys great okay and then Ooh, heal yeah and play yep. the character okay and oh, um, that's, oh. okay also, one last uh, way to play a card. Because you can play any card from your hand face down. Okay. And it counts as a one impact character of all the colors. Um, okay. So it's a weak thing, but maybe it'll come in handy. Usually, you can't ever flip them up. Uh, it, unless they have a flip effect, which I have. Uh, uh, I see. It, it's a little bear trap icon. Okay. That is, if it gets into a fight, I can flip it up and do the mean thing that's on the card. Okay, so if I see face down stuff on your side of the board, I should be afraid. Got it. Yeah, be be weary. I said I could be bluffing. I could just it could just be a stupid card I don't care about. Uh, but hey, maybe it's something to wreck your whole life. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's I think those are all the main rules. That's some stuff that goes on in combat. Um, some things about damage, but without context, it's a little hard to get into. Okay. Oh, I can. Okay, Tech Gal can protect me against your impact. Character with this trait would take damage. Discard this. Okay, nice. And characters with this trait become a green hero type in addition to its other types. Interesting. Okay. Sweet. I'm ready. I'm ready to roll. All right. All right. Should I go first or should you? Go ahead. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm trying to figure out if I should just start off bluffing. <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit. Let's put this face down. And then play this one face up. And play this one face up. Okay. Okay. Um, so I am can't attack you because you haven't had a turn yet. That's the one downside of going first. Okay. But uh, yeah, from now on, I should my next turn and the turns after we should I should be able to attack you. Okay. But anyway, that should end my turn. Uh, I draw t- three cards. You just and, always uh, pass. You always draw up to five. Correct. Okay. So the more I play, the less life I have. Okay. Yes. The, the more you play, the more you draw, the faster you die. All right. Well, I think... Let's see. I think I want a nice big blocker. Hmm. That is a big blocker. And I've got two threes over there. Hmm... Oh, put this guy down. And then I could attack right away if I wanted. Yeah, you could. 
Okay. Um, you just have to have uh, colors that match, and it looks like both ears are purple, so you could attack yeah, with both if you wanted. Attack with both. Oh, wait. Oh, well, that one, yeah, I would only be attacking Except, with this, yeah. Right. Except, what? Greet bot doesn't do attacks. You know what? I'll play this, too. And nice. then I will attack with green. Okay. And All right. swing in with both. Yeah. Perfect. Let's see. Do I have any... I have two available slots, so if I have any white border cards, I could play them. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have any. No. Got nothing. All right. Okay. I will... Um, hmm. Sure. Let's let's block both. I'll block your three with my three, okay. and then your other three with my other three. Okay. Um, so, so they both tie, and each of them take one damage. All right. Everyone's hurting. Uh, I should specify in this game, um, damage isn't calculated like a lot of other games where it's like you have this much points on you, and then that is this threshold. Yeah. It's just you check the numbers. Which one is smaller? That one takes one damage, and there's no other math involved. Um, now I do uh, have right. I do have an effect. Uh, I do when oh, this no. when this character battles a character, deal a damage to a chosen player. I will choose you. Uh, rude. Okay. Let's see. So first time playing, I would say everything's always damage to the deck, but you've played before, so I think it's fair to say. Uh, I want to. Um, uh, you can also damage your hand instead of your deck oh, if you want. Oh, um, that's a neat little. It's a little twist. advanced, yeah. But uh, I think I'm gonna do that, like that because some of this stuff I don't need. I'll just got, lose that card out of my hand. That's cool. Okay. Does mean as I got less on my turn because you draw at the end of your turn, but I at least know what got damaged rather than right. going blind. I like it. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, and then I draw up to my. Oh, let's get this out of my hand. Uh, yeah. Five, so I'm going to draw three. Perfect. Over to you. Okay, let's see what I got here. I'll play this card. It says, all face down cards I control have plus one impact. So this guy's a two impact now. Oh, you I still like that. Got, okay. You still got a five just chilling. Yeah, what do you want? What do you hmm. want with that? Hmm. I will. This. I'll play this card. It says I can take the top card of my discard pile and put it face down into this slot. So nice. this is a one impact character. Um, except and then I'll it. right, except it's a two, right? Uh, and then I'll attack. Uh, question is, I'm worried about the counter swing. Let's attack with small stuff. Okay. Let's attack with. You're at freaking five. That's so big. Let's see. Well, let's attack with this. Oh, let's attack with black. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Um, okay. There was as an added complication to fighting. If two characters battle and one of them has double their impact, mm -hmm. the losing character takes two damage rather than just one. I see. So okay. that's why your five is a problem. Got it. Okay. I am considering playing a little tricksy card. Let's see here. Oh no. How tricksy we talking? Yeah, and then this. Oh, okay, hang on. I have to look something up. Yeah. Sure. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this. Mm -hmm. Nice. Bringing along a little heel bot. Nice. Uh, and then I will block. Hmm. Uh, I see what's going on here. Your. Let's, kind of, let's get that out of there. Uh, then I will block your uh, this card with my bot. And this Got card it. with this guy. Okay, so this one's dead because it blocked a five. Uh, this will go with it. And then oh, I know it stays there. And then I'm gonna lose this okay. shield, I think. 
instead right, of... Right, right. And then you take three damage. Okay. Three damage. I'm going to discard one card from my hand. Mm -hmm. And draw... And two from here. Nice. Okay. okay. All right. That ends my turn. I get rid of all my white border cards. Draw three. And then it's back to your turn. Okay. I am... Oops. Unexhausting. Oops. These right. Two. Draw. I don't get to draw. Not yet. Right. Not yet. All right. So. I'm trying to make this a more difficult game for you than last time, but you still <laughs> seem to be doing very well. <laughs> hmm. I like that. I like that too. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this guy. He's got an activated yeah. ability, so I can just use right. this. Yeah, so you uh, he deals a damage to himself to do that power. I see, okay. So I can exhaust chosen character and draw a card, but I have to damage him oh, in order no. to do it. I see. Um, yeah. and, and even if he's in the back row, he will remove himself okay. for the cause. I see, that's kind of neat. Um, don't think I'm going to do that ability. I mean, I could exhaust. No, I just like I feel like my my greet bot is holding down the fort nice enough. <laughs> I can just I can just go. Let's see. I can swing with blue. That seems pretty good. And yeah, I'm gonna swing with blue. <laughs> annoying i have um in this game removal is very specific uh -huh. it usually says like hey remove anything except for this color uh -huh. uh, so me, like um it's usually um the secondary genre is what it doesn't remove so like this the, the removal from this card doesn't target blue same thing with this one this one doesn't target pink and this one doesn't target purple me and i coincidentally have the anti-blue <laughs> stuff and so it's like your whole board is just fine because they just don't do anything about it. That's fine. Anyway. Well, well, you can take out my blocker uh, that way. With right. Yeah. But he's not even attacking, right. so it wouldn't even help. Um, so let's see. Anything I can do about it. I think I might just be taking some damage. Let's block some stuff. Let's have this two block your two. Okay. Um, let's have you, this three block your three. Okay. And then I'll take two damage. Okay, and then one mm -hmm. extra from Blaine. Oh, right. Dang it. All right, one. Good thing I got rid of him, I guess. Uh, then two, then three. Okay. Okay, we're down to 14 over there. I like it. Nice. Okay, and I'm right. done. So I'm going to draw four. Yep. All right, I yeah. guess I'm down to 13, too. <laughs> mm. yeah. All right, let's see. I'll wake up. Let's try to get cheeky with it. Cheeky with it. Let's play that. Then let's uh, use this card as a trait to heal this character, and then it uh, ah, nice. becomes pink. Okay. Mm. Let's see. I got a discard pile of six now. <laughs> He's in love now. I love it. Right. Exactly. Right. He's <laughs> learned the power of love, and then. Uh, then, so I have one slot left, so I had a decision to make. I have a cool character or a cool event. I ah, can't yeah. play both. So, so what I'll do is I'll play this card. It says uh, erase the top five cards of my discard pile to erase a non-romance character in play. I it see. erases just this game's version of removing from the game. Nice. So I'll lose one, two, three, four, five to get rid of Greed Bot. I hate Greedbot. Yeah, Greedbot seems strong. I am looking for an answer to that. See, see if you got anything. Right. I don't think I do. Let's see. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We 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 gone. Mm -hmm. So does sweet does it go to the yeah? You can just put it off to the side. Yeah. Some people put them face down in the discard pile, but off to the side is totally... That's where I put mine. It's just off to the side. Um, all right. Then I'll attack. 
Let's attack with pink. Going with... Uh, uh, that might be stupid. Let's see. Maybe I should not attack with everything. Nah, I'm fine with it. Nah, let's not attack with new guy. Let's attack with just these two. So, okay. two, two, I mean, two impact and two impact. All right. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay. I'm going to play this. Mm, dang it. All right. When played, draw a card. Nice. And so nice of her to replace herself. Yeah. Okay, and then let's see. I will block your um, scribe that is now in love with my three right. power. Got it. Mine takes the damage. And then I will block your face down card with the okay. Rithronda. Let me take it. Let me take a quick look to see if it does have have a flip effect. Uh, mm, all right, all right. It takes the, it takes the damage. Let's go. All right, and I'm gonna play this to prevent all damage that. Nah, rude. Do. Uh, I don't think you took any. You blocked both of my things. Oh, damage! Oh, that got the... It took one damage, right? Can I do this? Oh, got prevent all damage. A character would do this turn. Because uh, this say take, it says do. So if a character does damage, um, oh, they're not draw that many cards instead. Okay, got it. So it's okay. I see. I understand. Yeah, that I could fix that wording a little bit. I should say um, prevent all damage a player would receive yeah. this turn from one character. I don't know. That's a little weird. Yeah. No, I'll figure that out. Yeah, prevent all damage a character would do this turn to a player and draw that many cards instead. Something. Yeah, I think that's better. Note that down real quick. Makes, okay. makes it wordier. I feel like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. I won't play that. Uh, so this yeah. one gets damaged. All right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All, All right. right. Uh, that, that's the end of my turn. Let me draw my four. Okay. I'm going on to you. All right. These two become unexhausted. I will... And this goes away. You got that there. I'm going to play a shield on this guy. Oops. Nice. And oh, that's oh, that's nice. Oh no. I'll play oh, nice. Oh, dang it. That is a very <laughs> great position for her to be in. Let's see. And then she'll immediately heal everyone. Nice. Wow. Uh, okay, I feel pretty good about my position now. Right. I gotta figure out something to do about this. And then I have no slots open, though, so you know, know I have no tricks up my sleeve. Um, right. But I'm swinging with all of my green, including my healer. So I'm going, I'm mm -hmm. going all in here. All right. Let's see. I will use this event. Uh, I want to shuffle a non-blue character into your deck. I'm going to pick this oh, one. Oh, nice. Right. Oh, and this stays. I'll hog up a slot. All right. Then, all right, let's see. I'll, dang it. All that work I did to damage your characters, and now they're back at it. Yeah. Let me have three block your two. This one will block this too, but uh, new thing, we've got a Ooh. flip effect. Um, battling, uh, erase characters battling this card. So yeah, I removed from the game. All right, and I think I still take two because couldn't do anything about this one. Okay, good, I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Anything in hand I don't want. I kind of like this hand. So I'll get rid of one and two. Okay. Okay. Um, and I will draw two. Keep checking decks. <laughs> yeah. Right. I feel like being the, the aggro player in this game is, is the way you, is where you want to be. 
<laughs> right. No, I, everyone everyone likes the aggro. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, all right, so I got some numbers now. I got some stuff. I even got all romance up in here. Let's see. Let's play this card. Uh, can exhaust her to heal a character. I'll do that to heal this guy. Uh, I'll heal the dog. I don't have any face down cards right now, so. Um, then, uh, let's leave a slot open. Uh, so let's attack with pink. Uh, hmm. It's so tempting to go all sideways, but it's, it's a trap. So I'll just go in with these two. Uh, why is this one sideways? Oh, I used her exhaust ability. Oh, I see. Okay. So she can oh, okay. Yeah. So you're coming in with okay, so a three and a three coming at you. Threes. He can no longer All right, so it's a little bit of a little bit problematic. Um, look at that. Oh, nice. Okay. And then this is a stream cat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, nice! Creative use in the uh, <laughs> runaster, runaster. Yeah, I think it's runaster. Yeah, runaster. Okay. I, I read the names, but like I haven't actually because they're comics. I haven't actually right. heard anyone say their names. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. So I have done these things. So I'm going to use this on your Alex and Boots to draw three right. cards instead of take three damage. Nice. And then that that will hog up this oh, slot till sure. the turn ends. Right. Good call. And then uh, Aaron will block your uh, other dog. <laughs> nice. And then yeah. And then just lose the shield. Can I choose not to? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, but that doesn't. Okay, that event doesn't. I, no, I'll. Yeah, I guess I'll lose the shield. Nice, because it doesn't really synergize. Okay, perfect. That's that's I took no damage, but I did. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the end. I'll draw two and pass turn. Okay, this one's back. This one's back. You're down to six, I'm down to eight. <laughs> Gotta take a look at these new cards here. Oh, okay. Mmm, okay. I like that. And... Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so you have this one, one guy on defense and six life. <laughs> Do I just? Tis true. I I go for it. I put this guy down and attack with green. Nice. All right. Let's see. I will use this card. Uh, dead arrival. Yeah. Get this as a face down. Nice. Card. Let's see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I can block two of them. I guess I'll just block the biggest two. Uh, yeah, this guy will block this guy back here because I don't like him. And then, oh, my guy dies. Maybe I should have had him block a one because I do like this. No, it's fine. Um, then this one, well, let's block the one. Oh, no, let's block a two. Block a two. He can die. It's fine. Well, can, you, can you choose to block in a different order so that that one is still a two power, two impact? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So yeah, I'll will. do that. Okay. Nice. So then doesn't die because it just tied. Yep. Okay, cool. And then I take three damage? Three. A lot of damage. Yeah, but now oh. I'm a little open. Now I'm a little wide open. 
moves one, then two, then three. Okay. And then I draw one, and it's back mm -hmm. to you. Let's see, seven to four. All right. Let's see what we can do with those odds. Let's put play this one face down. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Let's see. Then I want to you only got one defender over there too, so let yeah. let me attack. Uh hmm. let's attack with pink. Those, just those three. Exhaust, heal, and mother character. Okay. All mm. right. Those three. Yeah. Th and that is now it's only one one. Okay. All right. Now it's only right. One. All right. So. Mm, what do I do? What do I do? Just take seven. It's fine. Yeah, no problem. Well, I have cards in my hand I can get rid of. Um, hmm. I will uh, block a block sandwich with my robot. Okay. And I will take the four. All right. Uh, I'm discarding. This, 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 and one for my deck. Nice. Okay. All right. On to your turn. I'll draw my three. Got one card in deck left. Okay. <laughs> I go here and swing with green. Okay. Okay. Do I have anything about that? Hmm. Let's take a block two of them. So let's try start there. Let's have this block the four. Okay. Dying. You gotta get off my keyboard, cat. This doesn't work. Um, then this block the two. Also dying. Then, oh yeah, this too, I guess. Then I take three, hmm, which I don't necessarily like. Hmm, let's lose one. Uh, lose two. Okay. And uh, let's lose the top card of the deck. Nice. So, not dead yet until okay. I need to draw, and then I will <laughs> die. I like that. So you can make a last stand, basically. Right. Like, you're like, exactly. This is my last turn, but how? Okay. Well. Right. I mean. I guess you're <laughs> in a tough spot too now. Uh yeah, because I have four exhausted characters and no <laughs> slots. And I'm, I see. And I'm about okay. to draw four. So. Did you want to attack with less of those, knowing? No, that... no, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> See. All I right. I think I'm okay. I can oh survive. no. Maybe not. Eight people are okay. All right. Let's play. Dang it! I can't even play this card. It will kill me. I had a card that heals me, but it draws a card first. Ah. I'm like. <laughs> let's see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Let's play this. Boom. And then attack with pink. And I'm going to lose after this turn anyway, so I got nothing to hold back. Boom. All right. I block a four, and I take seven, mm -hmm. 
discarding my entire hand and two cards from my deck. Oh no. Right? Dang it. <laughs> yep. That it that Ooh. is exactly the right amount. Let's see. Dang it. I had a card for this and I discarded it. Oh no. Ah. I had here was the card. It was um Face down card gets plus two impact this turn. Oh yeah, that would do. If that if that's in hand, I could have just dropped it down and uh, could have ended it. Dang so, it! I have a question about the rules. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what happens if I block with this bot? Or actually, that's a bad example. What if this bot is injured and I block with it? Mm. Can I mm. then? Ew. Can I then play an event here? Um, yes. Okay. Um, it's, it's just, um, the different phases are what you need to pay attention to. So, um, it blocked during the block phase. Yeah. Then we move to the damage phase. Then it's damaged. But all damage during that phase is done at the same time. So, oh, okay. you so couldn't, for example, it. block okay. it and then also use a slot to prevent damage it. because okay. it dies at the end of the damage phase. So, you've already received the damage by the time the character leaves the slot. Got it. If okay. that makes sense. Yes, it does. Yep, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Maybe I should have just played one more thing. Maybe I should have played like a, a, one more pink. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you got me again. Yeah. You, you're a clever one. <laughs> I, I love this this game. This is a wonderful, uh, fun, like, I, I don't know. I don't. I think I liked my deck before better than this particular deck, and but that's cool. I mm -hmm. think it's fun that like you can have different. Like I already see that there's like certain different like strategies that people can gravitate towards or switch it up. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. I tried to balance it. Uh, I tried to think about like um, with all ten genres, yeah. they all are the perfect thing. You'll draw all the cards, prevent all the damage, do all the damage, and you'll just win. Yeah. And then I just like split them up. Like, okay, you get that section, you get that section, you get that section. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's great that you noticed the um, the difference in decks. That's mm -hmm. that's that, that's great. Yeah, I love I love it. I love all these characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the I think I mean, you you probably know this, but like I think that I mean the game is great, but like the art and the like flavor and like the just the, just the, <laughs> the world of, of smashing these different universes together is like right right yeah i was playing with um a bunch of demons a zombie yeah. army and some high school kids <laughs> and then they were trying to w just work it out somehow yeah well uh, one of them made a <laughs> zombie fall in love so that's mm -hmm. that's nice. right and yeah what do you have you had uh just some uh you had some legit superheroes from the superhero world. That's what Edge is. Yeah. Um, Aurora is a fantasy adventure superhero type story. Yeah. And then you had Ted Gow, which is kind of a slice of life, just kind of like, oh, in the middle of this little town in the middle of nowhere, there's a genius kid that can build mechs. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And especially, like, then you, like, read the comics and you now know the yeah, characters. Exactly. And then this definitely it, it, it adds another out. layer. Yeah. yeah. Makes me want to go out and get the comics. So, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, that's that's wonderful that you've worked with all these um, like com comic creators and stuff. Like, I feel I can like picture I can picture such like cool like using that collab in all sorts of different ways. If you're like, I don't know, how, you know, because the I mean, we should mention at this point too, this game is if you if you think this game is for you. Uh, you don't have to wait long. The Kickstarter starts this week, right? All right, yes. Monday, it, uh, it launches. Two days. In two days. So right. uh, so you can back the Kickstarter, get this, be the first to get this in your hands, uh, and mm -hmm. we will drop the link all over the... Uh, it'll be in the description <laughs> below. Um, yes. So you can get your hands on this. But, like, so... I, that's that's the Kickstarter, but like also like you can be taking this to conventions, like maybe maybe invite right. the comic uh, artists along with you or whatever, do some comic yeah. signing slash gaming. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love it. yeah, it's my dream to have someone run up on me in a comic convention and be like, "We're yeah. throwing down right now." Like, I got my deck. You set it up. I know. Um, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> um, what, what, one thing I'm going to do is, uh, and this isn't really a part like the Kickstarter, but I do think, um, I'm going to have little packs of alt art cards for like my comics, the ones I've illustrated. 
Oh, um, okay, nice. It, in Alien 101, I never made a beach episode, so I'm going to like make them in like swimsuits. Nice. And then uh, have a little pack of 10 cards, and if you beat me in a game, I'll just give it to you as a prize, Ooh. like some sort of like gym leader or something. Um, uh, so there's there's just so many fun things you can do with it. That's, that's uh, so I'm cool. excited about the future. Yeah, yeah, and then infinitely expandable too. Of course, I mean anyone can see. Right. That, yeah, you can uh, start. You know, just adding right. your comics to the the repertoire. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, and um, uh, so there's like 90 possible combinations of yeah. different genres, and then each one of those mixes with two others, making like too many. Yeah. Too many deck <laughs> possibilities. Many. Exactly. Uh, right. But um, uh, but what I'm excited about is that it, them being indie comics means that you get those weird niche overlaps. Like you get romance horror yeah. or like superhero tragedies. Like, you know, you're not going to find that in like uh, a lot of the mainstream media, but exactly. you'll find like plenty of it. Just if you if you look around the indie crowd long enough. Uh so yeah, that's that's what got me excited, really. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> so, uh, are you? Um, so I guess your your comics came before this game, I'd imagine, right? Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was I was at comic convention, just sitting around with uh, some other creators, and uh, I, you know, I, I had just got the board game bug, where you know you start <laughs> buying all the games you yep. see. Um, but I was like, oh man, my comics cool. I wonder what if someone would ever like make a game about my comic. Like, and I was trying to figure out like mechanics. Like, yeah. mine was a romantic comedy, so it was my characters were a little loose. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, ah, no one's probably gonna do that. I'd have to make my own. And then uh, my friend next to me was like, "Yeah, give me make me a game too about my comic. Like, I'd love that. You're a designer." And I was like, "Hmm." So I kind of just went uh, pulled the you know asked all the creators around me like, yeah. "Hey, if I made a game." would you put your comic in my game if I invited you? And they were all like, of course, there's nothing I'd rather do more than have yeah. my comic in a game. That's freaking amazing. Uh, so, and I was like, maybe we're on to something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and the community has been very supportive and helpful. Yeah. Like um, just sending emails, you know, hey, I like your comic. Do you want to join my game? Uh-huh. And then them being like, uh, yes, of course. How much do I need to pay you to be in the game? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. And I'm like, no, I pay you. You're... <laughs> You're the IPs, guys. Yeah. You guys need to stand up for yourselves. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Uh, so that's fun, yeah. Oh, and I'm just realizing, like, uh, some of these some of these uh, comic artists or comic writers will have, like, kind of audiences already, like, built into, like, their fan base, right? And, like, theoretically, right. they can actually draw some folks to, to like, yeah. check out your game even that you know, maybe be more on the comic side than the uh, than the game side. That's mm-hmm, Right. Yeah. A big part was making them pretty enough to just be collectible, that you yes. just... Uh, uh, as I said, I'm a fan of every comic in the game, so it's like, yeah. um, even if we don't play, I still just want the cards, just right. to be like, oh man, this art done by this artist I like is is, is cool for me. But yes. yeah, absolutely. Mission accomplished um, there. The, the idea being that uh, if uh, our individual IPs aren't strong enough to like, you know, really pull anything together, maybe all of our IPs together, yeah. uh, you know, we, right. we can change the world. That's right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a strong community slant. Yes, I, I, I like that. That's cool. Uh, also, I'm just realizing I we haven't mentioned these play player mats. I played in person, all like right. I said, at ETX, and I just love your neoprene mats. Uh, the art, like they're so beautiful as well. You can kind of get a hint of it here in the tabletop simulator, but um, mm. nothing is <laughs> yeah. quite as good as having it like in front of you on the table. Look at right, that. right. No, they're they're really they're really fun. I I feel bad that I have to like sell them separately on the like Kickstarter, like it's an add on thing. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, luckily the game's simple enough that you don't need a mat. Right. Exactly. Like just remember the number five. Yep. And you're pretty much good. Uh, but yeah, they, they definitely just make it feel deluxe. Yeah, feel like exactly. You're getting no, some cool stuff. I think people are, would totally expect that too. And, and when it's, when, it, when there's a thing like this, that's not re- required to play the game, it does, it is that weird place, right? Of like, do I want to, I don't know, like put an extra 
like hurdle <laughs> between the people that just want to play the game. You know, they have to pay extra right, right for it. You'd have to charge a lot more. So mm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's and I, and I realize I'm not a good businessman because <laughs> the whole money part isn't sure. the thing I'm excited about. Yeah, just people being like, "Oh, I played your game once." I'm like, wow, this made my week. Uh, exactly. Same, but yeah, same here. <laughs> right. But it's um, it's yeah, it's about the community and playing the game, and more people play the game, the more people I get to play with. Right. Um. But uh, yeah, like for, on the Kickstarter, we have like a print and play version. We have, of nice. course, buying the physical version. Okay. We have uh, you know, some add-ons, and we also have like um, the collector's box edition, which just nice. has like all the factions we've made so far in a box that's big enough to hold like. I think it can hold 600 cards. So it's like the six, so that's like 60 factions. So you'll be good for a while. And then it comes with two neoprene mats. So we just have one with everything in it. Nice. But um, yeah, the original, the campaign right now is for six particular factions. Um, the new ones that came out, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's Aurora. You played that one. Uh, Demon Eater. I, I, I don't need to point them all out, but... There are six new ones that you know we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can get the collector's box and get the other six. The other six are from um, a comic group called Scattered Comics. They're oh, over okay. in Sacramento. Nice. But they're doing a um, crowdfunding campaign for a crossover comic with all of their comics kind of oh. uh, interacting. Sweet. So, uh, so I made six for them. Nice. And that's not coming out till like I think later on this year. But oh, okay. because the cards are done... I'm like, hey, if you want them, like, yeah, uh, we're, we're, we will share. <laughs> Sweet, uh, but that's gonna be cool. I'm really excited about having a comic book that kind of like uh, goes with the smash the you know. Yeah. The, oh my gosh, I know. That's right. a. That's just yeah, fortuitous for sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah. yeah. Do you, um, have you? So is your Kickstarter page kind of already built? Is it like all, you got all all your T's crossed yes. and dot, I's dotted? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I am still working on the video because I know that's really important. Sure, yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, everything else is done, ready. Um, have just a couple members of the community kind of go take a couple more looks at it yeah, just to make sure that I'm not should, missing anything. You should drop uh, really a... Crazy. Drop a preview link in the IGL oh. channel. That I, I feel like oh, yeah. the folks there are pretty good at seeing what's. Um, yeah, yeah. What's up. absolutely. Yeah, the more the more the better. Uh, yeah, and it, it's it's interesting. It's just under oh, first the board game community is like the best community where everyone's so helpful oh, yeah. and nice and mm-hmm. eager to you know donate time and you know get in there because they love games so much. Right. Um, but. Um, yeah, it's always surprising on how much work goes into um, not just making the game, but like making sure people know the game exists, uh, um, and you know, double checking, going over things, making sure that things are presented in the best way. Um, I'm more of a storytelling game mechanic guy, so it's uh, it's cool to have people who can come up and being like, "Oh yeah, I'm a professional editor," or you know, "I'm a professional graphic designer," yeah. and you know, just kind of um, helping getting their hands and eyes on things. Yeah, it's really cool. Nice. Well, very cool. Well, I mean, that was a, that was a fun game. I'm uh, looking forward to playing some more. I'm looking forward to back in the Kickstarter. Everyone else should go out and get it. Again, uh, there's a link right below this video. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming on and showing us around. Yeah. No, absolutely. It was, it's a pleasure. Uh, I said, I... Uh, believe your game's on kickstarter too right should we plug some of your stuff or uh yeah uh sure primordial secrets uh primordial secrets is also on kickstarter right now go get it mm, um right uh <laughs> and uh, i just uh, i was gonna say my view on it one of the best deck builders me and my housemate have played we were just kind of stuck at your table <laughs> that's right just things were closing down we're like no let's just finish come on we're almost there <laughs> uh yep. but no it was it uh yeah blew our socks off so much appreciated. uh I'm, I'm i'm so excited to uh, get my hand on a copy of that too heck yeah well, <laughs> well here we go and we'll be at gen con too so if uh, anyone's anyone's there come swing by our booth we're in the back corner so oh, nice 
Um, nice. Oh man, I couldn't get him on Gen Con. Yeah. That's 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 good that you'll be there. Yeah. And you'll you'll have have some fun. I'll rep the <laughs> uh I'll rep the indie game lab studios uh Discord channel. Nice. Here. Uh, actually, Giga, Giga is coming with me too from our from our server. So, and he's going to actually help out at the booth. So, we're going to have nice. uh, we're going to have a whole kind of indie game lab team. Uh, nice. And where's where's it located? Where's Gen Con this year? Uh, Indianapolis. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I couldn't fly. That's why I, I was like, I can't get to Indianapolis. That's yeah, it's too short of, notice. I should have planned ahead. That's a bit of a trek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to yeah. So this is just Kickstarter season, I guess. So. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah buckle in. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Until next week. Actually, we're off next week. Thanks. Two weeks. <laughs> All right.